Well, today we're taking the body off the frame. Only had a few surprises, but all in all, not too shabby. Come out pretty good. Have to get all the brake lines undone from the frame. There's about 15 clips holding up the frame. And then it can separate. You have to get the fuel lines off the tank. Because they all hook into the tank here. And your tank stays on your frame. Of course, it'll come out and a fuel cell will be put back in. But all that stuff can just hang underneath. Then we can put this body on a cart. We can start working on the frame. We got to cut all this stuff off the frame. All these mounts here. These mounts there. All this stuff's got to come off. We are rock and rolling. Things are happening. Got the frame out. Sitting on cart. It's very nice to move around so we can get all these things cut off. Get the fuel tank out. But very nice to move around. Got the body sitting on its own cart. Well, look at the ingenuity here. A ballpoint pen keeping those brake lines from getting smashed. I don't know if I'm gonna change them or not, but if I don't have to and they're already run, that'll save a lot of time. Not sure if that booster and master cylinder will handle the amount of brake that it's gonna need. If it does, I won't change it, but if it doesn't, then I'll put a new setup in it. Now I can move things around and get them where it's easiest to work on. This is the easiest way to remove a fuel tank. You take the bolts out, there's about five 18 mil bolts. That's as tore down as we can get.